Hey guys, Beat Up 6655 here, and I'm back with another Madden video. So today, I'm gonna be uh, telling you guys um, what to sell your players for, and this is um, things that many people have asked me about. Like, I've new pe people who are new to the game have asked me, "Oh, do I like how much do I sell my players for if I have players on the bench or collectibles or anything?" So let's just go right and sell items. I don't know how much I have. Okay, I have something, some things to sell. So this is my this is my little tactic. Um, I sell my gold, my 79 or below gold for 2k, maybe 2.5k, depending on um, how late it is, because sometimes there will be less uh, players on the auction house, and uh, you might want to sell it for a little bit less. Your 80 plus golds, um, I would sell for 4k, maybe 3.5k, same reason, depending on how late it is or how busy the auction house is, because sometimes there might be... There might be like an overflow in the auction house and like some of those glitches that happen with Madden where you like can sell all your players and you get like a billion coins and there's this glitch on the auction house they have to take it down and there's just some days where there's like almost nothing on the auction house but that has never happened so so that's what I would do so I'll go and sell Ryan Fitzpatrick 76 overall as I said I'll sell him for two and a half k and I'll put a bid price of uh, two four nine nine so I don't I don't want to I don't have a player. Bid snipe, which is saying like if I put the starting price of 1k, there's only one bid for 1k. He sells for 1k, and the auction fee gives me under a thousand coins. So you want to set your uh, your starting bid as close as possible to your buying out price, maybe like 1k or like a hundred coins less. So I'll sell for one coin less, and we'll post him. Tim T, who I am keeping, I'm doing some videos with him. Uh, just a tip, I'm going to be doing some, if you guys don't know my future videos, I'm going to have two series. I'm going to have gameplay with my regular team that I have, and I'm going to have on my other account, which is a 60 overall, I'm going to have Tim Tebow out, my halfback, and I'm going to play with him. And I'll be like using Tim Tebow every play, maybe passing to him a little bit, and mostly rushing, just to uh, have a little bit of fun with Tim Tebow, because he's just, he like, it's going to make jokes about Tim Tebow, because it's very easy. Um, so, let's get on to silver players, what you sell them for. So, there's not really a set thing for silver players. There's no, like, if 71 plus, like, there's, like, a special price or anything. So, I always sell my, uh, silver players for 1.5k. Usually, they sell pretty quickly, because some silver players are usually all over the place. You could put them up for, I put silver players up for 5k for 4k by accident when I'm selling my 80 plus golds and they sell. Like, I, I just like playing it safe and I'll sell them for 1.5k. So I'll put one coin less again and Santana Moss is gone. So I'll do the same with Alex Carter and Deshaun Sheed. Sheed, is that how you say it? Yeah, Deshaun Sheed. So bronze players are the same thing. I like to sell them for 250 coins. Uh, nothing special, just the quick, quick coins. Just Every coin counts. That's what I say in Madden Mobile. Every coin really counts. So I'll go... Put Dylan Farrell, sold, and Eric Swoop. Swoop. Eric Swoop. Or Swoop. Whatever. Um, actually, since um, I'm going to be um, doing my Tim Tebow gameplay on my other account, I can just sell Tim Tebow right now. So for some players, like these special program players, you always want to look up... Um, you want to look up players that are... Some players are... Those program players... I'm sorry... For messing up a lot there, but some program players sell for a little bit more, even the gold ones. Obviously, Tree Archer is a ex great example. He sells for like 50k, and you could just mess up and put him up for 4k. Good job, snipers and botters, or really anyone for picking that up. That's one of the that's one of the best gold cards in the game. So I'm gonna look up Tebow, and he's an 81 overall. So I'll put an 81, and we'll put in the maximum price of 5k just to see. What's up there? So there's a lot up there. So we're gonna go down to three and a half k because I saw some for four. We're down to three and a half k, and there's three up for three and a half k, one up for three and a half k, two up for three k. So I'm gonna go sell them for three k. Now sometimes I I wouldn't personally um, sell. Uh, I wouldn't personally put those program players up for 4k or anything because those there's just so many program players that so many people hope to get more coins or less coins because some people are smart if you guys know what I'm talking about at all like some program players uh, you don't want to sell for like what you'd sell for your regular golds because they may be worth more or worth less people want to find the cheapest price for these uh, 
these kinds of players. And so you want to sell them for what you see, what's the cheapest on the auction house. So I'll sell them for 3K and 2999 and we'll post him. Um, let's go Brown Strawberry, same thing. You can sell them for 300 coins. That's what you, I usually sell them for. They usually sell pretty quickly. And because it doesn't really matter, they're just bronze trophies. I'm not going to need The rest of these are game plan collectibles. So I'll go take an elite off of my team if. Oh, wait, I don't have any players left. So um, let's see what else. Oh, I do want to talk about something. Um, there are some players that are like, for a day, they'll come. They'll be extinct on the auction house. Like, maybe let's just look up Portis. Maybe Portis is extinct? No, he has a lot of cards. But for one day, there was none of them on the auction house. It was, it was like 5 a.m. I heard this from one of my friends. Um, and he was saying me, like, he was telling me, like, Clint Portis was like, there was something on the auction house. So, um, I told him the idea of, hey, why don't you, like, sell them for way overpriced since there's none on the auction house? And someone bought it for about, as you can see, he's like 100, 100. Uh, I would say 40k. That's what I would sell him for on here. And he, this guy, took him and sold him for 250k, and he sold because there wasn't on the auction house. There's gonna be, there's going to be people who who really want a specific player. Let's just say I really wanted, um, let's say Rondi Barber. Let's just say I really wanted him. Probably wouldn't because I don't really like Rondi Barber. Actually, he's a pretty good cornerback, but let's say I want him and he wasn't on the auction house. Maybe there was he wasn't on the auction house for the price that I saw last night. Because what I do is I look up the night before to see what the prices are, so I know what I could do tomorrow. And there's there's only one up for two hundred fifty k. I'm like, I really want Ronnie Barber, so you would just go and buy him. So for whatever that price is, maybe it could be two hundred, maybe three hundred k. Now that's this only works for. High level 90 plus elites, and this doesn't even work that much at all. It's it happens like one in a hundred times, maybe, maybe like 150 times, but I'll play it safe. 100, one in 100. Now, don't. This doesn't mean like you go look up a like a random bronze or silver or gold player, and he's not in the auction house. Like, oh, let me overprice him, let me put him for uh, nine million. Like, no, it's just it's just it, it's just for those elites that you find are really good cards to you but you need you want a better player and you had you can there's none in the auction house and you can sell them for way overpriced i guess that's what i'm really saying is that always look at the auction house before and after you you sold your player cuz you may have uh made the pricing a little wrong so that's uh, about it um just trying to think if there's anything else i can say about madden in general um, oh yeah, I'll go show you the new team of the week just to give you guys a little update so your head on it. It did come out today. This video will probably go up tomorrow, so um, this isn't really much of an update, but it's, it's I love this card. Larry, Fitz, Larry Fitzgerald, 94 overall, 93 speed, 95 excel, 90, I'm sorry, Ugh, there we go, 97 catch, 96 jump, which is sick. You always want a player who's Decently fast, good catching, good awareness, and good jump. Obviously, Larry Fitzgerald had it all, all that, so I might uh, complete this set. So let's see. That's actually going to wrap it up. So um, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. And I'll see you next time.